The global market for major public art projects is one of the world's most competitive. Brisbane twins Matthew and Daniel Tobin and their company, Urban Art Projects, have won two landmark commissions in China and Saudi Arabia. They have drawn on two decades of public art experience to develop the 60 metre high beacon, the iconic symbol of the new King Abdullah University of Science and Technology in Saudi Arabia. They have also brought together artists to create a series of large-scale works for public spaces within the university. The, the beacon for, the, uh, for KAUST in Saudi Arabia is by far the, the largest project we've ever tackled. Um, it was an interesting project uh, because uh, it sort of shows where uh, a sculptural element becomes such a large uh, piece, it becomes almost a building. Uh, and being at 60 metres high, it's a 20 storey building. Um, so the challenge with the Kaust Beacon has been to, uh, after we won the concept design, uh, uh, once our concept design was selected for the project, uh, was pulling together a team of engineers and architects to, to help us actually deliver it in reality. Um, it's moving a, an uh, uh, an artwork to a, 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 an enormous scale uh, and the complexities that that entails to preserve the, the essence of the idea um, has probably been by far the most challenging uh, process uh, we've experienced so far. The Beacon's been a collaboration between Daniel and myself but Daniel has driven it uh, more strongly. The imposing Kaust beacon is the signature symbol of the King Abdullah University, a multi-billion dollar centre of educational and research excellence. It is also a stunning rendition of key symbols, Saudi coral, carbon atoms and Islamic iconography. The idea behind the beacon was that it felt like it was plucked from the ocean uh, floor. So the pattern at the bottom is organic and references coral. Then that pattern morphs into uh, a pattern that references carbon strands, which echoes the research that's being done by the university. And then that carbon strand pattern morphs into an uh, Islamic inspired pattern uh, that of course references the culture of the region. Uh, but the 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 idea behind the, the, the beacon is that when you enter it, you're in a reverential space. Uh, you've come out of the hot sun. You're in a space that's cool, uh, allows you to reflect. Um, and uh, when you gaze up, up inside the beacon, uh, through its pattern, uh, you see a clear hole in the top that, that just shows the, the deep blue sky of, uh, of the Middle East. Um, so it's, it's really, uh, uh, at essence, it's, it's about uh, reflection. Matthew and Daniel got their start in public art at the 1988 Brisbane World Expo. Uh, my brother Daniel and I uh, worked for a, a business called Artbusters during Expo 88 and, and that was the first time we really saw art created specifically for public spaces and we saw the value it added to a public space and an event and the way you interacted with it and I suppose that's what uh, engaged us uh, to start to want to practice our art in the public realm rather than creating art for galleries. Urban Art Project's factory in the Brisbane suburb of Northgate is more hotbed of heavy industry than artist studio. A substantial foundry occupies one end, forklift trucks zip about and men in heavy protective clothing grind, polish and finish off large sculptures. There's no doubt the Tobin brothers are the driving force. We always had a view that uh, urban art projects would grow to this size. We, our aim was to uh, grow it to a size that allowed us to do benchmark projects around the world. And uh, to do that, it, it needs to be uh, a certain size. Uh, we see creativity as a mix of art and design, uh, architecture, uh, you know, it, all creative performance, uh, event, temporary artworks. We see uh, uh, we're interested in broad aspects of creativity, I suppose. So uh, to actually achieve 
creative satisfaction, I think we had no choice but to start a business that uh, provided artwork for the public realm because it gave us that flexibility to explore areas of creativity and fund that exploration. We uh, won a project in Shanghai Expo uh, 2010 is being held there and we're doing the entry statements uh, for the event. Um, we would like to, from the back of that, develop a, a strong business uh, in China. The Shanghai Expo sculptures will be playful and exuberant and will be seen by 70 million visitors. They will be manufactured in China under Matthew Tobin's personal supervision. Urban Art Projects enjoys a unique dynamic. It is a family business operated by twin brothers and jointly owned by the brothers and their father, who was pivotal in UAP's establishment. Uh, people often ask us if as twins we always think alike uh, and I suppose that's a very simple way of, of, of looking at the idea of twins. Um, uh, we're just as much brothers as we are twins but uh, we work very well together because our aims and our goals uh, intersect uh, uh, a lot. Um, we have a lot of differences and we have differences of opinions over, over many creative decisions, uh, but overall our, our goals and our experiences are similar. It allows us to work uh, through discussions and opinions to, uh, uh, to create better outcomes and a better business as a result.